What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, you see who it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm definitely in the building. And today I'm going to have another, this is the same special guest. We're going to talk about a topic that's cut to the court of America. And uh, let me bring him in because we're both shaking our heads. Hey, Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan, ladies and gentlemen, the president of Nigeria. And he's wondering the same thing I'm wondering. Why are our people always, you know, acting like this is such a big deal and don't do anything about it when I come to this picture right here? Talk about the riots. Every so often you have a riot. Uh, we're going to talk about what happened in Baltimore. Now, uh, Mr. Gray, young guy, died after six police somehow after he was in police custody he died I, that's all I know I can't speculate any of that but there's been evidence there's videotapes that prove otherwise and they've been charged accordingly now let me talk about the situation and I'm, I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk to the streets for a minute because a lot of you a lot of you schmucks are ignorant to the fact and you never believe it happened so but unfortunately it takes stuff like this with everybody having their smart cameras and smartphones and cameras everywhere to show you this. If you're running the streets, if you're doing dirt, if you're keeping a gangster, if you're doing any other acronym, if you're doing any other saying, if you're doing any other type of stuff, in the, if you're in the streets like that, that comes with the territory. Everybody knows this. Except for you schmucks and squares. Uh, look, man, everybody knows that every once in a while you take a beating. And that's, 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 that's how it is. I mean, cops rough you up. You know, they may punch you here and there. But you sucked it up. Now, like I said, the death part is wrong. It's wrong as all hell. Mr. Grayshanoff died. But getting beat is part of the ritual. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's how it is in the streets. Like, a lot of you guys talk this tough guy talk until stuff like this happens, and then you're going to put your panties up and put, put your dress on. But everybody who was in the streets knows the cops would come around. Maybe they frisk you a little rough. Maybe when they, maybe when they get you down, they stomp you in the, in the middle of the back. But if you're running the streets, that comes with the territory. But what gets me is he, he died under police custody, yes. But whenever there's whenever there's a, 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 a real innocent kid that dies or gets roughed up, there's no protest. It's all. It's, I mean, I just think that black folks need to start policing their own community. Like, how come the gangs can get together with the NOI and the NOI shop to the NOI and protect the community, but after the police leave, they're gonna go back to hurting your own people that don't, that don't make sense They're like like, right there let me put it this way the eyes of the world will be on Baltimore After that, what the NOI did was great because they brought you all together to defend the community now after everybody leaves what are you guys going to do are you going to go back to the old uh, uh, predatory nature or are you guys going to keep up defending your neighborhood the fact remains is Baltimore is like every other city except, like I said, this with with the with the amount of smartphones and all this all this other com uh, computerized technology data, you see it now. Like like everybody who's been in the streets knows this comes to the territory. You be throwing in a cop car, and maybe they little shove you a little different. Maybe they, maybe, maybe they clock you in the gut. You know, maybe maybe you running your mouth off at the precinct station. Maybe he give you the old one two. This comes with the territory. Death should not come with the territory. But the fact of the matter is, the cops. But let, let me explain. Let me say this. Let me say this. Not all cops are like that. The bad part about it is, and this is I keep talking and telling you people, you want people to go along with your stop snitching program, but at the same time, none of these guys are crossing that thin blue line. You think you think that this you know like I said you think that you know that no, nobody knew those six cops were beating on folks. You can't just tell me all of a sudden oh my goodness 
Lordy, Lordy, I didn't know this was happening in my own precinct. Come on, man. You know these guys. You know who you roll with. But like I said, it was part of the if you're in the streets, it came as part of the territory. It came as part of the part of the business. The death should not have came as part of the business. So I don't understand where all these people were getting all amped up and hooped up where this is one of many times and this is one of one of a million. This is this is just one case out of millions in this country. If you run the streets, you know how the cops do. If you especially live somewhere in the, in, the, in, the, in like a, a rust belt city, you know how these cops do. Maybe they'll throw you, like I said, maybe they'll throw you in the squad car hard, maybe they'll give you the old one two at the precinct state. You should give a smart answer, alright, smart guy. Well, you know how it goes. But like I said, that comes to the territory of you wanting to be a Billy Badass. If you don't want this to happen, quit trying to be Billy Badasses. Go get a job. Watch your community. Go start a family. Be happy and prosper. That's all you gotta do. But I'm, I'm not gonna make a big deal about this riot thing because it happens every so often. And, and I, I, I said with the Trayvon Warren, I said with the Brown. I, nobody has done nothing yet. It's all talking like photo op. So. I'm going to go back to, you know, watch and see how everything develops, and I'm going to be out, so I'm going to catch you guys later, you know, I hope the situation quells down, because like I said, I got family in West Baltimore, so I'm out. Peace, take care.